Alright, uh, what's y'all's names? So, I'm Nathan Slater. Jameson Slater. Yeah, Nathan and, uh, Jameson, y'all, your brothers? Cousins. 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 Oh, that's yeah. dope, man. Uh, I actually, I actually tried to get my cousin to come to college with me, but he decided to go somewhere else. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna start here at college. I started off at, uh, Shawnee State. Okay. Uh, we didn't really have a, a, a really good team, uh, but you know I was a freshman, so I'm like, all right, I probably I probably gonna get some get some time, right? But uh, I played 13 minutes the whole entire season. You know, uh, I say 13 minutes, you would think that we uh, we had a successful season, so the, so the so the freshman didn't get in the game, but actually we uh, we won like six games, and it was like it wasn't that great. So. And uh, it's, it's, it's probably it's probably not not the best thing to uh, to be 100 percent truthful with your coach if you don't uh, <laughs> if you don't conform with uh, the norm, you know. I understand that. So uh, that could have been one of the reasons, right? So I ended up going home and uh, going back to Columbus, and uh, I was working for a call center. It's called Alliance Data. Uh, it's a really good job, honestly, but. I realized like I wanted to keep playing basketball, so I ended up calling uh, a coach uh, at Wilberforce. So when I was playing at Shawnee State, we played Wilberforce, and they were the worst team that I've probably ever seen. I'm like, oh my god, if I go to this this school, I'm gonna be like the man. You know, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill, right? So I got the coach's number after the game. Like I'm a player on the other team. I'm go to the, I go to the coach like, yo, uh, can I get your number? He gave me the number, right? So uh, two years later, right, I, I call, and it's a different coach, you know. It's a guy named uh, Petrero, right? So I'm like, all right, uh, I, I want to play basketball. He's like, come to come to an open gym. Went to an open gym. I played really well. He, uh, he told me to come out to the uh, to the team. I can be a walk on. Uh, I ended up walking on that year. I was a sophomore. I averaged 13 points, six rebounds. Three assists. Uh, I had a 3.6 GPA, uh, so I felt like I was doing you no know, good things. And the next se the next season, I got kicked off the team because I did not cut my dreadlocks. So the reason they wanted me to cut my dreadlocks was because we had to work at Kings Island because the school that I had uh, it was it was pretty it was pretty poor. You know, we didn't even have cable. We had terrible Wi-Fi the whole time. So, you know, like the school was kind of poor, right? But I, I, mean, I was kind of, I was kind of wondering how the, how is the school poor, but they're charging their students $12,000 a semester. You know, I'm, I was, I was kind of, I was kind of confused, right? So the school wasn't that great. I ended up transferring the next year. Oh wait, I'm, I'm skipping a whole huge part. I'm yeah, sorry. dude, that, that's fucked up. I'm, the school, I'm, they're trying I'm, to Americanize you. I'm skipping, I'm skipping, a, I'm skipping a whole part, right? So, uh. I got kicked off the team, right? I got put back on the team by the board because I went to the board. I'm like, yo, can can they kick me off the team for okay. not cutting my dreads? Yeah. So they, they end up putting me back on the team, right? Uh, so, you know, like, it was like, it was, it's crazy. Like, it's like seeing out, like seeing out of a movie, right? Like, we're like, we're in a weight room one day and like, we're in a circle, like, you know, talking, like the coach is talking and she's like, there's, like, there's demons among us and things like that. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, bro, she's talking about me, bro. Like, what the, like, what the fuck did I do to her? Like, That's wild. like, what's going on, right? So, like, all right, the season starts, right? They put me in the first game for one minute, mm -hmm. right? Next game, they put me in for one minute, right? All right, I stayed on the team for 13 games. What do you think the record was? Below 500. Below 500? Yeah. You just give me a number. I'll take a guess. Three and 10. Three and 10. So you're three games off. They were 0 and 13. I was gonna say we that. were I didn't want we to. were the we were the worst team in the nation. Yeah. Right. So I'm like, yo, there's no way that I'm going to sit on the bench on the worst team in the nation. Right. Bro. Like, yeah. I cannot do this. Right. So I go home for winter break. You know, uh, there was a girl that I that I had had. Right. She was pregnant. Right. So I was. I, I'll never forget this. I was in the the delivery room and. I was thinking to myself, like, yo, I would not want my son to go through this bullshit, you know? Like, this is like, bull like, this is the epitome of bullshit, right? So I'm like, I sent the long message, like, I quit the team. So like, I was.
was saying, I did not want my son to go through the bullshit of uh, what was going on and uh, on that team. So I quit the team and I transferred to Central State University where I finished uh, and, and I got my sociology degree. So I was, uh, I was on the team. I had to walk on the team, right? You know, I had to walk on pretty much everywhere that I went. So and I was like, like it was it was right before the season, right? And like my girlfriend, she did some something crazy. Like she had uh, she had stayed out all night, you know. And like the next day, I was trying to I was trying to give my son, which I thought was my son, right, to her, and she wouldn't answer. So later on that night, you know, uh, I'll tell you this one thing: I believe in fortune cookies. Like, like if, if you if you don't believe in fortune cookies, unfortunate for you, but I believe in them full heartedly, right? So there, there's a Chinese spot that I that I uh, that I drove past. I drive past it. I drove past it many hundred hundred times, you know, a lot. I drive past it all, all the time, like people were now. But I turn around when I never went to this place in my life, you know. I like I pass it on. I pass it. I'm like, all right. I just made a U turn. It's, it's, it's not even it's not even legal to make U turns in Ohio in Columbus. <laughs> I made a U turn to go to the Chinese food spot. I got, told you. I got yeah, man, bro. So it has to be God, bro. It has to be. So, literally, I went, got the Chinese food, and the fortune cookie. It said something like uh, a big change is coming in your life, right? So that night we were at uh, my ex girlfriend's cousin's house, and. She had ended up going outside to smoke. So I was like, yo, what uh, what did you and uh, your cousin do last night? And she was like, well, I was with my dad last night. And I was like, wait, what? Like, okay, all right, cool. You know, like, you already told me enough right there. Like, so she obviously wasn't with you. So I confronted her about it. She told me, oh, I was with a friend and I popped a molly so I couldn't wake up. And I'm like, whoa, he popping mollies? Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I can't be associated with, like, you know, somebody that's, like, doing stuff like that, right? So I ended up breaking up with her, and I, was, I thought to myself, like, yo, like, if she's doing this now, she's probably doing this before. So I'm like, let me get a DNA test. Like, I got the DNA test, and, you know, I was in the computer lab at Central State. I'll never forget this. I got a, I got an email, and it says 0%. Like I that's broke down, I broke down bro, crying so tough. bad, bro. Like I was, I was. It's my senior year of college, bro. I'm trying to walk into a basketball center. I, bro I broke down so bad, bro. I cried, bro. Like, like literally, like can't even when I like. Okay, yeah. So after I found out that uh, the kid was not mine, I just went in like super like grind mode. You know, like it's like. I wasn't even looking at anything, you know, I wasn't looking at girls, I wasn't looking at, you know, I'm like, I'm like, yo, like, I gotta make this shit happen, like, you know, so I'm, before, be, like, literally, I'm, like, I'll never forget it, like, before classes, like, before, the, like, the school day, I would go to the track and I would run two miles, like, every day, right, I would run two miles every single day, and then I had a guy, man, his name is Corey, man, this, man, man, one of the realest guys I know, man, like, he literally trained me like almost every day. He came from where he, where he is living at in Dayton, and he came and trained me every single day at like 12, like noon. So like I had a couple classes in the morning, a couple classes after in the, in the afternoon. So I would train with him. I would and I kept training with him even during this like 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 at the beginning of the season, you know, like you know like when we we're going to practice and stuff like that. So every time in practice, I'm playing so terrible i'm trash in practice it's because i'm tired as fuck because i've been working out all fucking day right so you know like i just kept doing that kept doing that i kept going to the coach and i'm like yo coach like what can i do like to get into the games like like this is when the season started like what can i do to get into the games he's like he's thinking i'm selfish you know because i'm just trying to play right but i'm really trying to let him know like i can actually help the team you know like I can really help us, right? So it didn't take it to one of my friends had a DUI uh, class for me to actually get into a game, right? We went all the way to Memphis, and we we ended up uh, going down by 21 points. Uh, I got in the game. I played really well. We came back, and we ended up winning in double overtime. I started playing a little bit, but I don't think as much as I, as I should have been playing. I ended up averaging six points a game my senior year, and 
after the season, uh, one of my teammates, he was an All-American, so we had like an invite to a camp, like a, like a pro camp. So he got invited to play play in uh, in Florida. So he sold me his his camp invite, and I went to the camp. I didn't play like super great. I averaged like 13 a game, but like a guy came up to me and asked me that I want to play in Angola. So I'm like, yeah, I want to play anywhere, you know. So. Uh, by the grace of God, I was able to go over and play basketball in Angola. I was having uh, an amazing season. We were winning. We won every single game uh, until I got hurt. I got hurt like the first game of like like the official like regular season. Like it was like the tournament. So I got hurt. You know, I thought it was my ankle. It ended up being my Achilles. They had to, they sent me home and everything. So like I've I've traveled around the world like. I've been to Germany, I've been to Spain, I've been to Australia, I've been to Canada, I've been to Mexico. This is all literally trying to play basketball, like trying to get the opportunity to play basketball again at a high level. But you know, it hasn't really happened. So uh, I seen the movie Hustle and uh, like I seen how Adam Sandler found, found a guy that was, uh, you know, he was unknown at the, at the time and he helped him get his social presence up to be able to get a, get an opportunity to make it to the league, right? So I'm 31 right now, and I honestly feel like I have the talent that it takes to play at one of the highest levels, but I just need uh, to get exposed to the right, the right people. So uh, I created this YouTube, and... I'm going to basically just spread love, uh, positivity, and uh, workouts and things of that nature. Uh, I'm also playing on a team called the Baytown Boom. Uh, so I'm vlogging that whole season. I literally just moved my mom from Columbus, Ohio on last Thursday. Fuck yeah. Literally last yeah. Thursday to be my full-time videographer. Yeah, to, be able to, awesome. get, to be able to give you guys uh, that uh, have subscribed and uh, show, show faith in my journey and want to support me. Sure. Uh, show you what what uh, the ABA is about and hopefully I can make it uh, as high as I can go, man. But even if I even if I don't make it to the NBA, my goal is to inspire the next generation and just you know, like spread love and positivity to the world. Love it, brother. That's awesome. That's what it's all about. So, Thank you. We'll for sure be keeping up with you. That's that's dope, man. Thank you.